So if you use GitHub, you know that when you create a pull request, you need to wait for the owner of that repository to review your pull request. Or let's say you're working in a team and you're working on a GitHub repository. Once you make a change or make a pull request, you need to wait for others in that team to review your pull request. But there is a new AI tool called Codeball. And what this tool does is that it reviews a pull request for you. So the tool is quite credible. It knows when to approve or disapprove a pull request. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. It also does more than just reviewing your pull request. For example, if someone drops a comment on a code that you changed in your pull request, let's say someone drops a comment that says change this function name to create user. The code ball, which is the AI tool, is going to write a code to change that function name to create user. So it also generates code for you. So this can be used for work and working with others in a team when you're working on the same repository is actually a quite helpful tool that reviews your pull request. So without wasting any time, let me show you how to use this tool. So the name of the tool is called Codeball and you can go to codeball.ai to actually access it, read more about it or see if you like it. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to drop a link in the description where you can check it out. So as I said, what it does is that it reviews pull requests for you. So what we're going to do now is that I'm going to go into GitHub right here and I'm going to create a new repository. I'm going to, you know, create a simple file in that repository. Then I'm going to install this particular code ball in that repository and I'm going to create a pull request and show you how this actually automatically reviews it and see if it's a good pull request or a bad one. So what I'm just going to do is to come into GitHub right here where we have plus, I'm going to create a new repository and I'm just going to say something like Python, let's say test. So this is just a test repository public and we can say create repository. So once we create this repository, it tells us to go into our command line to change all of this, but we're not really building anything here. I'm just going to create a new file like manually up here and I can just name this file, let's say app.py or let's say Python app, app.py and in here I can say something like dev, let me say welcome, right? And I can just say print welcome to my code and i'm just going to commit to this particular file so i have one file in there so right now i have this new file right so what i'm going to do is i can create a pull request to let's say change it okay let's say this saying welcome to my code but instead of the name to be welcome let's say we think the name should be greetings which is a, a good name so that's the pull request we're going to create so i'm going to create that pull request. But before I create that pull request, I'm going to install this code ball on my repo so that once I create that pull request, the AI bot is just going to automatically check if that is a good request. So it's going to review it for us. So to do this is very easy. As I said, it uses GitHub actions. So it's just two steps and I'm going to show you. So come into codeball.ai, click on get started. And once you click on that, it's going to take you to this particular repo here. Just go down to where you see the steps. So what you just need to do is to create a new file called this. We are just going to copy all of this right here. Come into your repository and we're going to say add file, create a new file. Just paste it. It's going to do all of that for you. Then we're going to come in here and we're going to copy all of this, right? And we're going to come in here and paste all of that code. So I'm also going to talk about this code later, but for now, let's just commit a new file. So we've done that. So this means that we have a GitHub action like files or folder there. But what we did was installing this code ball right here. So as you can see, it's a YAML file. So what we're going to do now is that once we create a new pull request, when we try to, let's say, merge it or submit that pull request, it's going to check it for us. So I'm going to actually come in here and I'm going to say view all branches. So just the normal way of creating pull requests. I'm going to create a new branch. And let me just say changes. If I, let's say I just want to name the branch changes. So if I come into changes, what I'm going to do is to come into Python app and I'm going to change this to greetings. 
so that is the change i made and i'm going to click on commit change so what i'm not going to do is to come back to python test so we're still on this changes branch we're not on the main branch so what i'm just going to do is to create a new pull request because i want to you know merge this branch to my initial branch so i am having an assumption that you kind of understand the basics of github like creating pull requests and all of this so what i'm going to do is compare and pull request so i'm going to click on that so what i just need to do is to just basically say create pull request right so once i say create pull request it's going to do some stuff and if i come in here you're going to see that it says code ball is checking this pull request so it says one queue check so this code ball that we installed or that we configured in our repo is actually checking that pull request to see so it says one in progress check we're going to give it a few seconds or yeah mostly a few seconds because it's quite fast we're going to check that pull request and see if it's actually valid and it's going to review that for us so you can see right here it added a label named code ball approved so it has actually approved that pull request so it reviews it and it approved it so you can see it says changes approved it approved it because as we see it's a safe pull request and it's a reasonable pull request it's a reasonable change so if i come into files change you're going to see the files that we the line that we actually change so we change this to greetings so now that we can see that the bot has already approved it for us i can just go ahead and merge pull request right but before we merge this pull request let me show you one more thing right that this actually do so before i show you that you can see that it says reviewers github action this github action is from this code ball that we installed on it so let me come into file change so it actually has something like a code generator so kind of the way like you know uh a peer programming tool works like kind of like github copilot so what it does now is that for example in here where we change to greetings let's say we don't want this to be greeting or someone else another person comes into this pull request and feels like okay this name shouldn't be greeting is doesn't make sense it should be let's say something like the function name should be user greetings so once we say the function name should be user greetings right this is what we're saying so we're having a comment under this particular line that has been changed i want to say the function name should be user greetings so once we say add single comment right so we've added our comment we're going to give it like a few seconds and this code ball is going to review that comment and is going to write a code according to that comment so what it's going to do now is going to write like a function with a named with a name named user greetings so kind of like an AI tool or a, a bot that writes code by itself, giving some instructions. So we commented on that this saying this function name should be user greetings. It's going to write that. So once it's write that, we're then going to see if you know that is actually valid. Then we can commit the changes. So let me just open this or refresh it. So I refreshed it. As you can see, GitHub actions suggested from code ball, right? It says suggested change it changed the name to user greetings so as you can see this person said greetings but now we're saying we should change it to user greetings an advanced suggestion so what i can just do is to say commit suggestion so once i commit this suggestion right so it's going to be applied to this branch to this changes branch so now it has been changed to user greetings if i come back in here what i can now do is i can just come in here so it's still, it still says some checks have haven't been completed yet. So it's checking it again. The new change that we committed from that comment, you just say merge pull request. So once I say merge pull request, it approved that change. It says pull request successfully merged and closed. That is how easy it is. If I come into the main branch now, so let me say Python test, and this is what the main branch. If I come into Python app, you can see now that it says user greetings. So you can see that the pull request has been merged so you can see how this actually helps us it is a simple way of adding an ai to or a bot that allows you to that automatically reviews pull requests it reviews the code in that pull request and it either approves it or it disapproves it so and it's actually quite reliable because it has been trained by two million different pull requests so they have given you some 
pull requests that you know were instantly approved some pull requests that weren't approved so it knows what to approve and what not to approve so that that is how it works so let me actually show you the particular yaml file for that github action or for that code ball so you can see right here it says approve pull request true label pull request when approved true so what all this is just saying is that we're giving it like we're giving it like the approval to approve pull request so whenever it checks if a pull request is like is good it approves it and label pull request when approved so what this is doing if i come in here and come into conversation you can see this label that it says added the label code ball approved so if you come on that labels and you see code ball approved that is what this does so it puts a label on it so label when review needed you can change this to true false and code suggestions from comment so this is what we did when we commented on a particular code and it changed it to user greetings so we're saying true if we say false that means it's not gonna you know suggest that change so this is the basic way of using this particular tool it's actually very helpful right so if you work with github below and you work with let's say in a team or with others on a project it's very helpful instead of waiting for everyone to review the code the bot can review the code for you so what you need to do is to go to code ball dot ai right and just click on get started so once you click on get started it's going to take you to that repo that shows you how to install it just like the way i configured it for my repo so i hope you understood everything we did in this video and i hope you try out code ball and found it fascinating like i did so if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and check out code ball with the link in the description below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one